Hello and welcome to ISTV News. This is Zitin Uma giving you the news. First, the top story. 48 hour number ban begins. Three women injured in police accident to quell agitation. Seven ban supporters arrested. The news in detail. 48 hour number ban called by the residents of Oxoy Park in protest against the veterinary department's attempt to acquire the area has got underway. The ban has badly affected traffic on Umphal and Pura. Three women have been reportedly injured in police action to control the agitation. At least seven ban supporters have been arrested by the police. From the early morning around 5 a.m., a large number of residents of Oxoy Park came to Ainam Bazar and blocked the Umphal and Pura. The burn supporters pile up big logs on the road and burn used tires. In order to control the burn supporters, police fire tear gas sales and mock bombs. On the other hand, the burn supporters also attack the police by sling shots and the pelting stones. During the confrontation between the burn supporters and police, three women have three women were injured. Later, seven burn supporters were also arrested by the police. DC Bishnupur and other officials rushed to the spot to take stock of the situation. Moirang Leader, Nepra Major Mamang and Manning Club jointly organized an anti rabies vaccination program at the Lekai today. Many dogs and cats of the three Lekais were given anti rabies vaccination during the program. Responding to NSN IM statement published on January 24, a statement of the Government of India, Ceasefire Monitoring Group, CFMG said, its chairman is to dismay at the stand taken by the NSN IM. The chairman's opinion being level one-sided is unfortunate because as the chairman of the monitoring group, it is his duty to take note and point out any violations of the Ceasefire Ground Rules, CFGR agreed by the both sides. With NSN, I am blatantly violating several CFGRs. The chairman CFMG has to highlight this and take necessary action to raise these issues. Obviously, the NSN, I am or any other group does not like its violations to be pointed out. The same is true for the Assam Rifles also, a statement of the CFMG said. The NSN IM has cast an aspersion on the chairman's loyalty to his assigned job and asked him not to meddle, not to meddle with other subjects responding to this. The chairman of CFMG re-emphasized that he is doing his mandated job as expected and pointing out false violations even in the face of any side's resentment. It added, on allegation of Meddling in other subjects, it is clarified that all issues raised by CFMG are directly linked to the CFGRS. It added, White Clause E of the CFGRS, the NSNIM had agreed to act in a manner as not to cause harassment or injury to the civilian population. White Clause I, the group had agreed to prevent intimidation of individuals kidnapping, abducting, illegal, illegal detention, exhorting ransom, issue of threatening summons, dictas, etc. All come under the purview of harassing and intimidation and very much under the CFGRs. The statement further said. Socio-economic fundamental development agency in collaboration with State Health Society and Katrikao Assembly Youth Congress Committee conducted a free medical camp at Thambal Kong Junior High School today. Speaking on the occasion, MLA of Katrikao Assembly constituency Amin Shah said, keeping the citizens healthy is like stockpile huge well for the state. He urged the people to fully cooperate with the authorities conducting medical camps at different localities. <laughs> Now the national and international news. 
A Tamil newspaper has received a letter threatening an attack similar to the one on the office of French satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo, police said. We have received the letter from the newspaper and the probe is on, a senior police official said. The letter, typed in English, says, Yesterday Paris, Charlie Hebdo, tomorrow Dinamler. The words appeared against the background of India's map. The letter was sent by post by unidentified elements claiming to belong to an, an outfit called the Base Movement and said to be based at 3 by 10 Ukadam Kobai Tamil Nadu, India. Below the map is a picture of Osama bin Laden and a word by Al-Qaeda and some Arabic words appearing like a signature the police official shared. The Rajasthan government is worried about a sudden rise in cases of swine flu in the state. In the last one month, the, the disease has claimed 27 lives. Over 100 people in the state are still battling it. The cases of swine flu are not concentrated in one specific area of the 32 districts in the state. 25 have reported such cases, said doctors. Swine flu has registered around 70 more cases in Delhi, Haryana and around Telangana so far. 33 casualties have been reported in total. In Delhi, 26 fresh cases of swine flu were reported yesterday. With this, the total number of cases in Delhi has gone up to 285 so far this year. In Haryana, 41 cases of swine flu have been registered, out of which 7 casualties have been reported. In Telangana, 3 more persons, including a woman, succumbed to swine flu during the past 24 hours. Teachers in Northwest Pakistan are being given firearm training and will be allowed to take guns into the classroom in a bid to strengthen security following a Taliban massacre at a school last month. Heavily armed militants killed 150 people, 132 of them children, in a bloody December 16 attack on an army-run school in Peshawar, the main town in Pakistan's Northwest. Carrying firearms for every teacher is not obligatory, but all those who want to carry firearms to schools willingly will be provided with permits. Atif Khan, Provincial Education Minister for the Northwestern Province of Khaibar, Pakhtunkhwa, said. Provincial Information Minister Mustakhar Sani confirmed the decision, adding that the province was unable to provide police guards for all of all, all, of all its government-run education institutions. Malaysia will release an interim report on its investigation into flight MH370 on March 7, a day before the first anniversary of Jet's mysterious disappearance, an official said today. However, Deputy Transport Minister Abdul Aziz Kapraul declined command on whether the report would contain any revelation on the fact of the Malaysia airline jet. The report is being compiled and released by the Department of Civil Aviation is required by the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, one year after air accidents, he said. MH370 vanished on March I of last year with 239 passengers and a crew aboard en route from Kuala Lumpur to Vaising in what remains one of history's great aviation mysteries. Malaysian authorities say satellite data indicates the plane inexplicably detoured to the remote southern Indian Ocean and deliberate and board action is suspected. But no firm evidence has turned up yet despite an ongoing Australian-led search of the supposed grass regions, the most expensive search and rescue operation in history. Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has said a new Islamic State IS video threatening to kill hostess Kenji Goto within 24 hours is deplicable. In the footage, a voice believed to be Mr. Goto says he and a Jordanian pilot will be killed unless Jordan frees an Iraqi woman held on death row. Ave said Japan was working with Jordan to secure their release. I said on Sunday it had killed another Japanese man, Haruna Yakua. It had demanded a 200 million US dollar ransom. In the latest footage released around midday yesterday, the speaker says Goto has only 24 hours left to live and Jordanian hostess Muatha ul Kishwa even less unless Jordan releases Sajida al rashiwai al rashiwai is an Al-Qaeda militant who has been sentenced to death in Jordan for her involvement in a 2005 attack that killed 60 people. 
before we wind up the top story once again. 48 hour Nambolbon begin, three women injured in police action to quell agitation. Seven Ban supporter arrested. Thank you for watching ISTV News. For more updates, please stay with us.